Hello, Citrus. We thought that we would put our resume up on Ion Citrus in this video. Basically, uh, I realize most people probably wouldn't go to the Supervisors of Election Office, Susan Gill, and uh, look this up. It's kind of a it's a convoluted site to say the least. But anyway, this is my resume and. Uh, I'll read you my description that I type. Uh, after Champlain Business College, which I attended after high school, on the shores of Lake Champlain, where I s studied bookkeeping, accounting, I went to work for a contractor, Simmons Precision, in Vermont, that was chosen by NASA to build uh, fuel gauges for the Apollo Lunar Landing Module. And I was or became a quality quality bleh, quality control inspector for the assembled fuel gauges for the lander. There were six of them for th and three for each propulsion unit. Redundancy was the name of that game. My inspection stamp may be on the moon. After a government contract was cancelled, I was laid off. Owning and operating this store in Whiting, Vermont, which was an Amico gas station and country store, and it had an apartment over the store, making it a perfect fit while I attended college at Castleton State during the day and came home and ran the, the store and gas station at night for four years while obtaining my Bachelor of Arts degree in Sociology with a minor in Education. Taking a sabbatical after college to come to Florida, postponing my LSATs in preparation for law school, is where I met my beautiful wife, Coral, who was working as a breakfast manager at Burger King, and soon Vermont and the LSATs were forgotten. I met Betsy Reese of the Citrus County School Board, and she suggested that I substitute uh, teach while deciding where I wanted to work, which I did for a few years teaching at Crystal River High School, Lacanto High School, and Hernando Elementary School. Working as a private contractor for Citrus County for 18 years as owner operator of Liberty Delivery, which had 15 to 20 employees depending on the time of the year. We delivered all of the county agendas and other documents to the various boards and offices of the county, as well as other deliveries in and out of Citrus County included, but not limited to, doctor's offices for lab specimens, transporting medical equipment between the two hospitals in the county during their early reconstruction, Dameron's Park, which uh, they are now known as LKQ, etc. We would drive many, I think a couple hundred thousand miles collectively, or half a million miles collectively, I guess, for all, everybody over the course of the many years. Uh, and that would be your, uh, four vehicles. So we drove a lot of miles. Uh, everyone drove a lot of miles. After missing eight weeks of work in 2005, because of my open heart surgery, I went back to work at the Citrus County Property Appraisers Office and worked the next 14 years in a power chair that I planned to continue using when elected property appraiser. Working for 14 years in the Citrus County Property Appraisers Office, retiring as a field appraiser, and having 32 years accumulated experience with the intricacies of Citrus County government in all areas puts me in an unparalleled position to take over the reins of property appraiser. So an added note for any of those who might be thinking about changing your voter registration before the primary start, just to let you know it's much closer than you think. You only have until February 18th, which is eight days from now. Today's the 10th of February. So you have eight days 
to the deadline to register to vote or to change parties before the primaries. So be that as it may, that's where signing off for tonight. You have a good evening. This is Monday evening. Once again, it's February 10th. Talk to you all later and keep an ear out because soon to come are my podcasts and they'll be located at uh, citruschronicles.com. Soon to come, check them out. Revealing and informative. This is Dave Gregory signing off. See you soon.